So we're just uh, walking along the side of the canal here in Kapstan again. We were going to stay in another small village just down the river, but the restaurants closed there on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. So there you have it. We're back here, tied up on the other side of town. And just walking back into a little uh, restaurant that we saw um, as we drove by. We think it's open. I think it's open. We hope it's open. We hope. <laughs> Sorry, I think there was a little bit of a marital distress going on there. Um, she was cursing at her presumably husband, saying, for goodness sakes, it's on the left, I said. Why can't you find the damn thing I want you to get? Um, some things translate really easily from one <laughs> language uh, to another. Very cute. And here's a van up here. I don't know if you actually mentioned earlier about the van. Yeah. And... Uh, they kind of hang out and camp in lots of different places, so, anyway. Well, okay, you certainly have a lot to say. So apparently all of the birds in France are noisy. I think we're going to feed them something. Maybe on the way back, if we have leftovers. <laughs> Not very happy customers. And we're just coming up to the bridge. I think I'll stop this to walk over the bridge. <laughs> just to be on the safe side. So before we do it, let's take a look it's at running right now. Oh. Okay. So we've heard from a few of you that you wanted to know more about the food. And I guess the food's been really good at the restaurant. Yeah. We just took pictures and I guess didn't think to actually describe what it was or say. We thought the pictures said enough, but maybe they didn't. So we've come tonight to the uh, La Batelier restaurant. It actually looks like they have... Um, seafood on the menu. I was just in taking pictures of lobsters in there. Um, looks like lots of entrees and salads on the uh, on the menu here. Some uh, some oysters again. We often look for the uh, like the tab d'hote or the combination of the appetizer, the main course and the dessert. Um, haven't looked at the menu here yet so I'm I'm and they usually sure. they they usually do a tab dote of like uh, three different versions at three different prices of different uh, entree mains and desserts. So we've been trying to do that. It seems to make the most sense. Oh, and I think I found it right here. Yeah. Menu à 24 et 50, and menu à 31. So this one's got a salad niquoise or a salad uh, batelier or nine oysters. They also have uh, foie gras homemade uh, maison and then uh, filet of beef oh this one isn't even a challenge they actually have this in english as well most of them have been french only so i've been doing a poor translation and some guesswork on what's on the menu but uh, it looks like it will be easy tonight and we'll just make sure this includes for supper we picked out a wonderful choice last night only to have the waitress explain to us that that uh, only applied <laughs> at lunchtime so um there you go so i'm looking at the two choices for the tab d'hote one is at 24 euros one is at 31 i think i'm going to go with this one the 31 i think i'm going to order the turin the pro maison the uh, beef and then of course the fromage and the dessert and the dessert and it includes your taxes tip and your taxes so i think that's the most we pay actually we've usually been under 
I tried to find something on the other one that I was interested in, but this one appeals to me. So I think I'm gonna do with that. And then Jennifer thought I would really enjoy, and I probably would, the uh, Gambas Flambé au Pastis. There you go, Aiden, there's your Pastis. It's prawns flambé. And of course, then I'll have some oysters to start off with on that. So uh, we'll have the, the seafood for tonight. Merci, dame. Dites-moi. Bonjour. Euh, ben moi je prends les huit. Alors, euh, le menu vous voulez Oui, c'est ça. Le menu à 31. Alors, une fois neuf huîtres, oui. Euh, les gambas flambées, pastis. Oui, avec frites, oui. riz ou ratatouille. Oh. Uh, Fries, rice or ratatouille <laughs> What's ratatouille It's a vegetable, so you'll think that. Ah. Oui. Et euh, you want a quarter or? Oh, um, foie gras. Oui. Mm. Uh, filet de bœuf. Filet de bœuf. Oui. La cuisson, s'il vous plaît. Medium okay. rare. Oui. Avec frites, riz ou ratatouille. Frites. Même question pour. Oh, pour toi <laughs> les frites. Ok. Je pense aussi on va prendre deux pressions euh, pour commencer. Puis avez-vous le, le vionnier blanc? Oui. Okay, prend... Alors, deux pressions et un vionnier. C'est ça. Merci bien. Merci. 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 There you have it. Tonight's beer is Heineken on tap, as is the case, I think, in most places in Europe. Uh, they have one kind, and it just varies from restaurant to restaurant. So this is our first... Uh, our first Heineken. Very good. Oh, and there's our bottle of the uh, Viognier that came. I've never quite seen that. Um, <laughs> way to uh, attach the cork. It's, interesting. Um, I like it. It's interesting. There you go. Interesting it is. So this is our house pate. I don't know. Devices. Mm. Oh my God, it's good. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like a <coughs> maybe a fig jam on the side. Um, it's a lot richer than I thought, and there's no jelly, which is kind of nice. So here we are with the uh, oysters. They look to be a much more manageable size than the ones that we have at, uh, at the Atanga Toad. Mm. How do they compare? in the little piece of shell that I just uh, got in there. You know what, they're, um, they're good. They're, they're, I think I like the smaller ones, to be honest. The other day, um, the bigger <laughs> ones at the, um, at the Itang were... Uh, Tabaret? They yeah, had to chew them a few times, and they were good. Oh, I forgot to put lemon on them. But, um, they're very nice, fresh. Okay. Just a note, all of the oysters, instead of being on a bed of ice, are actually on a bed of coarse salt, which is kind of interesting. So I think I'll uh, try some of the wine, the Viognier that we ordered here, with its cute little um, cork holder. Do you want me to hold it while you sample? Oh, and you can sample there and see what you think. I poured way more than a sample in, so if we don't like it now, I think uh, I'm not sure we can return it. <laughs> the pate is amazing, but it's really rich, very heavy. 
You're not sure you're going to be able to make it through the four courses? I think this includes a cheese platter and dessert. There it is. Mm -hmm. I taste pear. Light. Mm -hmm. Oh, I taste pear as well. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on these guys. Cool. Got some lemon in your water there too. Nice. Well, we should try the ratatouille. I ordered the ratatouille at Jennifer's uh, suggestion and then she got Fritz. So, uh, oh, looks good. Oh, that's hot. Maybe I'll let that cool off a little bit. Mm. Mm. Very flavorful. I'm gonna take these guys here. I'm not exactly sure what you do once you take the head off them. But I assume it has to do with the kind of breaking open the shell. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh, you can taste a bit of the sweetness of the pastis. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Oh, it's very good. Ooh, got some beautiful gravy here. Mm -hmm. Mm. Malt in your mouth. Amazing. And then, how oh, the fries are. Fries. You can dip them in your gravy, too. Fries are good at any time. But the steak is amazing. I seem to have a bit of hot chocolate, a little baby creme caramel, a little chocolate cake, some vanilla ice cream, and a little bit of chocolate sweet cream, it looks like. I think I made the wrong choice for dessert. Mm. Oh my god, not sweet at all, very chocolate, very rich. Delicious. Oh, this isn't a whipped cream, it's mousse. Mm. Chocolate mousse? That's like the... This is hot. That's okay. like on the cruise, the little... Uh... Don't mention that cruise word. Sorry. Not allowed to mention the cruise word. But the ice, that looks like vanilla bean ice cream. And a little creme caramel. It's even a little crispy on the top. So all of that is included in the one price, plus tip, plus taxes. So everything I had tonight was $45 Canadian. And that included the whole dinner, the tip. And we don't do that every night. We do it maybe every second or third night. And then we take our leftovers, which we already have again tonight. And we have them for lunch. And then we usually make our breakfast, if we have breakfast, or... So we only, usually only pay for one meal a day. So we try to limit ourselves to about $100 a day. Bon appétit.